Howdy folks, I'm here in my home office, in my PJs, telling you today how to do in Photoshop sequence photos, how to edit them, because we've been a lot of questions about that. I'm going to try to make this quick. So you're going to learn how to make a photo like this in Photoshop, a nice sequence. So first thing to do these photos is you're going to need a camera and you're going to need a tripod. So you're going to go out, you're going to put your camera on your tripod, and you're going to have your friend do a slide or do whatever past the camera. You want the friend to be doing the movement past the camera, not at the camera. Because if, if the movement's coming at the camera, then he's going to overlap himself in the sequence. So you want the movement going past the camera. Your camera is going to need to be able to shoot continuous shooting. Um, so when you hold down, you know, the button to release the shutter, it should shoot continuous like this. You hear that? That's pretty key for the sequence, okay? Uh, I mean, this camera shoots three frames per second. Not that fast, but it works. I mean, good cameras can shoot like 10 frames per second, which is really quick. So hopefully your camera does that. Um, once you do that, then you're going to have to bring your images into Photoshop. So here we go. Howdy, folks. So, we're working in Photoshop. I suggest you all learn Photoshop. If you don't know Photoshop, I mean, after high school, there's got to be a class. And community college, college, learn Photoshop. Key. So, this is what the final image is going to look like. As you can see, I did a lot of color correcting. This image actually, I layered two images on, and then I did one for the clouds, the one for the foreground, then I raced away and brought out the clouds. So as, as you can see, the normal images look like this. So a lot better after the edited version. So I have three images here in a sequence. I open them all in Photoshop. You take the first image in the sequence, voila, have it open. Then you take the second image, and you drag that bad boy over top of the first image. Bam. Then what I do is I like to hide. You click the little I. Hide the bottom image. It just allows me to make sure I line this image up perfectly with the whole picture here. So it's lined up perfectly. And then what I do now is I take the marquee tool and I make a nice kind of loose square around Kyle. And then I come up here to select inverse which selects the opposite area around a cow and I hit delete on the keyboard. Boom. Then I go back here and make the background visible and shabam look we got another cow in the frame. Then we're almost done. Take third picture, drag it on top again, make sure it's on the top layer. Again I hit the little I key to hide the bottom layer to line this one up. Select the marquee, go around. I mean, you could take take the lasso tool and go around it like this, but to tell you the truth, I, don't know, I just like it's easier with the square square tool right here. And then he has a little bit of a shadow over here, so I go over here. Select inverse, delete, and bring it back. Now this is perfect. As you now, as you can see, I try to get in the shadow here, but look, now the picture is covering up his arm in the second shot. So what I do then, I just take the marquee tool and on the third image I just erase to bring his hand back out. Now I got his hand back out here. See? So, once this is done, oh, look, we we're missing a little bit of his board here. So bam, brought out his board. Now to get really good at this, you want to then zoom in on the images here, okay? And then I like to make the images disappear and reappear. And this, this really shows you the lines you've created. Because sometimes things don't match up perfectly, especially if there's wind blowing, you'll get like a bush moving one way in one picture, or sometimes just the lines of the pavement don't match up perfectly. So what you do then is you take the uh, eraser tool, put it to the opacity about 20, and then what you do is you just, you go, you find where the lines are, this one's not too bad, but then you just kind of brush over these lines. You're not going to really be able to see right now what I'm doing, because you have to really be zoomed in on the screen, but 
what this does is just really cleans up the image so you really see no lines. So I go to the third image, there's like a line right over here, so I just kind of do this. You keep the opacity low so it's a nice gradient erasing of the line. So it's not, because if it's 100% you erase the line then you're going to create another line, you know? So you want to keep it a low opacity to kind of gradient. So then, look at that. Beautiful sequence. Then what I do is I, you know, then you just flatten your image, make it one image, and then, you know, set up your crop how you want it, you know, and then obviously you would do a lot of color correcting here and everything, and maybe I'll do a set review for that one day, but that's how you do your sequence, folks. I just need a tripod and a camera that shoots quick. Hope you enjoyed. Roger that now.